Hey wadao. Natumai yumpo sawa na wakaribisha. I welcome you to FM African Documentary. Here we keep you updated with current developing stories in the country and what is happening all over the country. And I bet if you are on social media, you have bumped up on the story of Pastor Ezekiel Odero and the current happenings. You know, the current news that we are receiving right now is that Pastor Ezekiel has been implicated in a money laundering scheme which has called the DCI to seek a probe from the court to shut down at least 15 of his bank accounts, which is a story that I did earlier. And a lot of people went ahead to say a lot of things about it. Now today, the High Court has given a go-ahead to the Directorate of Criminal Investigation. So the, the, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation has been given a go-ahead to freeze the said bank accounts. And after freezing the said bank accounts, they have also been allowed to conduct the investigation on money laundering on Pastor Ezekiel. Uh, apart from that, I shall remind you that Pastor Ezekiel has also launched a complaint, and uh, let me say, he has sued the government of Kenya for shutting down his church, causing him to undergo loss of millions of money. He has also sued the government of Kenya for shutting down his TV station, which is something that was done about uh, a few days ago after his arrest and the drama that, unfold, uh, that followed with his arrest and detainment. So now, claim as it, Pastor Ezekiel received the advice from Raila Odinga to sue the government of Kenya, which now has triggered a lot of reactions from those people that are involved in this case and mostly the director of criminal investigation. Kumbuka, the DCI has been seeking a way to put the charges of money laundering on this guy. Because they claim that the guy has been running accounts with millions of money, billions of money, I mean. And his source of wealth, he claims is the offering and the tithe that he receives from his members. But they are all saying that no Christian can contribute and build up somebody to become a billionaire. You get uh, we have all preached, we have all been preached to if you attend the church. You have been told that, you know, in Christ there is wealth, there is silver, there is gold. I bet that is the book, in the book of Psalms. It teaches us that, you know, if you are a, a believer and you trust in God, then everything follows. How about, Pastor Ezekiel is arguing the point that these people are claiming that I ran a money laundering scheme. The two weeks that these people have implicated me and made me to spend s some nights behind bars, I've lost an amount of 20 million Kenyan shillings. Because on the first Sunday, he says he lost money. On the second Sunday, he lost a lot of money. So he says the government and the state must repay the loss that he has undergone. Wafuasi waki ambao wanapaswa kumtolea sadaka, awajakuwa wakitoa sadaka kwa sababu kanisa limefungwa, bank account zango mshafunga. Na pia, Mm, television ya msha funga. Malambapo nilikuwa naambia watu wanitole tithe. Wanunue mafuta takatifu na maji takatifu na vitambaa takatifu kutokea kwangu kama kasisi pasta Ezekiel wameku. Wamesha acha kununua. So what, what am I gonna do? You people must account for this. You people must compensate me as the government of Kenya because you are the ones that expect these laws. Now Serikali nayo imesema si unatauko na haraka ya kutengeneza pesa. Uh, you, you are in a hurry to make money, right? We are locking up those bank accounts. Tutaona hizo pesa utatengeneza na nini. You get? That's what they have done. 15 bank accounts zimefungwa. You know, they were seeking probe to shut down the bank accounts first. But now, they've decided to shut them down. You know? And speaking about losing a, a, a big chunk amount of money, uh, the lawyer to Pastor Ezekiel, that is Mr. Dunstan Omari and Cliff Mbeta, 
while they were speaking to the media, mostly while they were addressing the nation media, they stated that our client televangelist Ezekiel Odero Obaka has lost millions and millions of money due to his arrest and what the police have gone ahead to put him through. Uh, so now, what it means, Sai, at the point that Ezekiel is even paying his lawyers, maybe the money, if it comes from his associates and business persons, or maybe from his wife, or maybe from his friends, because right now he doesn't have the, the, the right amount of money to, to, to take care of the bills for Cliff Opeta, you know, these are high-head lawyers, these are high-head advocates that requires to be paid big chunks of money, big amount of money, you know, hiring somebody like Cliff Opeta. You get the best criminal lawyer in the country, somebody like Dunstan Omari, a lawyer that has represented Raila Odinga, uh, the former cabinet secretary of interior, Mr. Fred Matiani. So, this guy also is a lawyer for the Kenyatta family. You get? So Ezekiel has to pay bigger amount of money. So now the bank accounts being shut, I don't know what they're after. You know, they've tried to lay charges of the crime against humanity on the said man of God. A lot of crimes, a lot of cases, and a lot of developments about the said guy and implication that has been brought up against him, which at the end of the day doesn't make sense. Why should they try to do all this? What are they trying to implicate? Is this, really, is this man really guilty or this is just another scheme and game for the government to try and hide something because people are claiming that this is a move by the government to try and hide the shame of what happened in Shakahola Forest. Now, putting that aside, a lot of comments also are coming in in regards to Pastor Ezekiel uh, advice that he received from Raila Odinga the other day after Raila Odinga visited him. We all know that Raila Odinga, was it on Friday or was it on that day? Uh, or it was on Friday. Uh, one day after Pastor Ezekiel was released, the next day, Raila Odinga was in Mavueni. He attended, uh, he, he took, he, 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 he was given a tour inside Pastor Ezekiel's church. And you know this guy is in the opposition, right? So if he is in the opposition and he is hanging out with Pastor Ezekiel, will the government really give a mm, about what Ezekiel, whether he is guilty or not, or they will just persecute him as guilty as charged? Because they are claiming that the guy received advice from Rai Laudinga. And Rai Laudinga is termed as the enemy of the ruling government. The government is always against the man. The government is always trying to prove that the man has nothing to give to the people of this country. You get? Yeah. That's what has been happening. That's what has been going on. You know, for us as FM African Documentary, we shall be here to keep you updated on different stories, different uh, documentaries all over the country. So stay tuned. This is the place to be. My name is Fabi Thunder. And as usual, I always say, your news and information, your update, is my business. Thank you.